Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Hobby Link. And today you can see that we are here in a new port. Some of you might recognise it, some of you might not. And I'll tell you this is by in a second. But first, you probably saw the thumbnail on the title. Today's tutorial is on how to make a alt mode aeroplane fly using Wazda. Now, um, you could obviously do this in reverse if you wish, um, if you want to make a waz to plane fly in alt mode. But we're going to start with this, and um, let's go alt mode. And as you can see, we can throttle up and down using WASDA, and we control the flight using the mouse, I guess. There we go. It's not the fastest flying creation ever, so it will be interesting to see how it runs. But as you can see, it gets a little bit weird to fly. It's a little confusing to control. I just lost half the wing. Anyway, that was the example. Now we're going to move on to how to do it. There you go. And you'll see here we have the... Let's go down to the bottom. Now, I've done this quite a lot. So you can see I've got Spitfire edited Wazda. It says no one seven two edited Wazda. But here we go, we've got Soft Body Newport eleven SF by Neho two nine oh six. Um and obviously it's just got all the normal stuff. So let's um let's give it a try, shall we? So here we go. So here you can see that we have the uh Newport and you can see all the control surfaces that are on the aircraft. There's some here, there's one here, then there's some here, here. And also we've got the engine tucked inside the front somewhere. So we're going to edit all of these so it runs without um, alt mode. So first of all, we're going to change the yaw. So we're going to click on the control surface area that runs the yaw. So not this piece. Um, not that part. Of the, it's the same brick, I'm fairly sure, on this. But not, not the piece that's sticking out the back, basically. Um, you need to select this piece here that has the like jagged edge. And that's like an actuator basically. And here, over here on the menu side, you can see we've got input axis and it says steering alt mode. Okay? And steering in alt mode is A and D. Yeah, but A and D is what we will want to use to fly. So, um, your, you can set it to be something different, but I just stick it so it's usually on the same thing. At the moment, I'll just stick it on steering. That makes more sense. And so that is already ready to be used um, without alt mode. You then want to click on these two control surfaces, shift click to get them both. You then want to select this and you see it says view pitch alt mode. You want to change that to throttle. Now the reason for this is view pitch in alt mode means that when you move the mouse up and down it uh, that's yeah. Moving the mouse up and down is what turns the cra craft. Now, um, here, we want to be able to steer using WASD, so therefore S needs to be going up, and W needs to be going down, and their throttle normally, if you're not in alt mode, so you want to change that to throttle, not to pitch. Pitch is page up and page down. So, next, we want to go to this one, we want to select that one, and you can see that is your, so you go that one, that one, and that one, you don't have to do it on this aircraft, do it on any aircraft you like. Just make sure you select all the control surfaces there are. That one, that one, and that one. Like so. You then want to go down to input axis and you want to change this one to steering. Like so. Now, you might be thinking, well, the engine's the final thing that's the problem. Because you use W and S in alt mode to power the engine. So, we are going to go on to here. Now, you can see this is one brick. Um, sometimes they'll be made out of more bricks, but most of the time you will be able to just hit G and move the brick away. Just click anywhere on the builder. And hopefully, from then, I haven't actually practiced on this, we should be able to, yeah, we've got instant access to the engine, you can see here. Um, so, we then click on the engine there, and it's Aircraft R4 is the name. And we've got the pates and the fuel. Um, and now, you want to go down to throttle input. And you want to change it from throttle alt to 
invert steering. Now that is an option. Um, so if you change that to invert steering, I'll show you what it does, and then I'll show what um, the other option there is. So if we click that here, there we go. The uh, new port is fully repaired, fully ready to go, and now we're going to spawn this in. I'm not going to save it for the minute. And as you can see, if I go into alt mode, oh, fair enough. There's double flaps on the tail. If there's double flaps on the tail, just go back, um, back into the editor, open it up again. You can see here there's one flap there, and then there's a flap there, which we'll put into throttle as well. So if needed, you can do this, this. so you just hit G, move, click, hold that. That can be back down to throttle, that's good. Then hit G, and move that back into the position it was on, like so. Same on this side, hit G, hit this one. That's on throttle, hit G, hit this one, that's on view pitch, change that to throttle. Okay, and then put them back in the same place they were in. So you, it's a bit of a memory game, but not really. Just kind of keep the same, just remember how it was before you took it apart. Now that, hopefully, has worked. Unless there's more your. Yep, there's more your. There we go. I knew I wouldn't have finished it, never mind. Um, but you just got to keep, keep trying. Keep getting it right or wrong it doesn't matter really to be honest right uh so i'm gonna move this that's on steering this is on steering alt mode change it to steering honestly some creations will not have like them glitched into each other some will just just do what you can there we go now it is all fixed up i'm in alt mode nothing is happening Right, we're then going to go out of alt mode, and you can now see. But now to start the engine, hit I. And it will automatically spin to full throttle. Then you can always shift up. And you'll be off. And there we go. There we go. I've got control of the, uh, the things at the back now, so they were correct. And as you can see, I've got very good control over the aeroplane. I'm not in alt mode as you can see by me changing my view um, and it just makes it a whole lot easier to fly sometimes that's the thing you get sometimes you get less control over the aircraft than it had some aircraft require alt mode but um, some don't so right and then to throttle down you can shift down but you'll have to spam it because it doesn't like shifting up down it wants to speed up again or you can just you could just do that, I guess. Um, and then you could just hit I. And it turns off the engine like that. There we go. Lovely. Right. And now we will quickly get back to the editor. Now I think there's another option. This could be interesting for both me and you for engine control. Now I think you can go click on it. Click this. And click pitch. Pitch. Now I've never tried this before. But I believe you can do this. It'd be kind of embarrassing if you can't. Place that back. Spawn it in. Here we go. And then you should be able to use page up. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Use page up and down. Now, sometimes it gets stuck like that, for example. There we go. Lovely. So you can use... You can then use page up and down to control your throttle. It doesn't really help in terms of cameras because, um, I mean, you don't have to come out of alt mode and you don't lose control, but you don't have three hands. But there we go. That is how to change a plane from alt mode into Wazda. Now, you can change that back from Mazda into alt mode by just changing everything back to its original state like I showed you at the beginning. That was a beautiful landing. Um... But, you know, I need to land this once. Good. There we go. Throttle's off. We're just going to glide down like so. There we go. Now, there is no yaw when you're doing it this way. Um, unless you want to, like, change... Unless you put engine to invert steering and, like... That was an alright landing. Okay. Um, there's a few downfalls such as 
I understand what I did wrong. Like, you go into the editor. So for the wheels, you click on the um, the axle. There we go. And you can click on the other axle. And you'll see that now I've changed the engine to pitch. Um, when I press S to go up, it slams on the brakes, which is bad. So we want to change this. You could put, like, let's say, beacon. Where's beacon lights? Beacon lights. Put, like, brakes on, like, beacon, for example. And then you have the option to page up and you'll fly like this. I don't know why it's getting st stuck. Oh dear, it just broke. I think I've broken it, to be honest. Nice, you done? There we go, oh, I had the handbrake on. Fair enough, make sure the handbrake's off before you take off. And now when I press Q, there you go, brakes up, turn on. So you, you can see there's no brakes on it. Oh, there's brakes on. Brakes off, brakes on, brakes off just by toggling Q. So it's your choice completely. Um, having the HUD on while you fly can be helpful. Turn on the parking brake again. So uh, HUD, and there you go, parking brake is on. Nice. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon, check out my Discord. And I hope you like these tutorials because there will be more of them. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.